a lot of small property owners that might have, you know, one to 40 units or so, mm-hmm. um, they're often either managing themselves or maybe they have a manager that right. they might not be satisfied with. Um, what do you think are some key questions that they should be asking yourself maybe as you, they go to interview you about if you're a good fit? Well, I think there's a there's a lot of things that they should check on. They should, you know, it, it, for example, in Minnesota, you have to be licensed. I have taken on, we've taken on many clients who have been with a previous manager who isn't licensed, who's just, I, I don't know where they find the person, but somehow that they're just managing property. So that's kind of a key thing is to make sure that they're a licensed realtor or it's a brokerage and um, that they, you know, they ask the questions on, you know, how do, how do you handle deposit dispositions? How do you handle maintenance, you know, it, service requests that come in, work orders? Um, when rent's not paid, how do you address that? Um, how do you handle evictions? I mean, it's a lot of those common questions that owners do ask us because those are the things that they've had to deal with. We try not to be reactive. We actually try to be very proactive in how we handle and manage properties. And I think that's really key because a lot of times you find yourselves in a very reactive mode because somebody didn't pay the rent and you don't have a process in place. I can say after doing this for so many years, one of the things I did early on was establish policies and procedures and processes. I think that's very important. And so everything we do is written down. And so we have um, either it's templates or we have the process written down on how to how to screen an applicant and what are all the requirements that are needed to do that. And also we're following the law. So, uh, you know, not just fair housing, but there's a lot of um, city ordinances that we have to abide by. You know, city of Minneapolis continually changes things and we have to stay on top of that. And that's really important. So we continually also get educated every year, not just on the real estate side, but also with the city. So we're attending those classes, trying to learn what's important um, that we need to know so that we're not doing anything out of the ordinary. So a lot of times people will come to us and, and not realize that there's rental, li- rental license ordinances or they understand it, but they don't really understand what goes into it. So we have the tools to be able to do that. We actually attend the inspections and we provide all of that information to the owner. And one of the things I really believe is to be very transparent in everything we do. So every step of the way from the moment that we market a property to get an applicant to signing the lease, we are very transparent with the owner and let them know along all of it, what's going on. They don't have to necessarily communicate back. We're not telling them that they have to, but we actually are communicating to them so that they feel engaged and not going, you know, my property's been on the market for 20 days. What's going on? So instead, every week we have a system in place to say, this is what's going on with your property. This is how many people looked at it. And it all has to do with the technology that we have on the back end that allows us to see those metrics. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value. Thank you.